video will walk you through the process of testing Exit Ticket. We'll skip over a lot of the additional features, so you can just jump in and see Exit Ticket working. I've just logged in using a new account. I have not yet added my classes to this account, so the only class I see is the sample class. Let's go into that class by selecting the View button. Let's create our first assessment. There are four types by default. Let's select our beginning of class assessment, called a Launch Assessment. We start building the assessment in the Overview tab. Here we give the assessment a name and select which class will take the assessment. Let's move to the Question tab and add a silly multiple choice question. Save and Close. Now let's press Start on the assessment. This takes us to the heat map. The ticket has been switched to visible when I press the Start button. George Washington is a sample student. If I press the Student Admin tab, I can see his randomly generated username. I'm going to log in as George by resetting his password and copying his username into a different browser. You can do the same with a cell phone or tablet. You can see the heat map has updated as George submits his answer. If you have new students joining, you can press the Add Students button to show instructions on your projector. New students go to ExitTix.com or load the Exit Ticket app and enter the class code. If a student already has an account, they can log in now or they can create an account very quickly without an email address required. Again, you can see the new student's answers update the heat map. Looking around the heat map, I can switch to the Reteach tab to help me review the answers. If this device were connected to a projector, I wouldn't show my students' names. Instead, I would switch to projector mode. Student progress is saved. If I return to today's assignments from the heat map, I can access their results. This has been just a glance at the basic functionality of Exit Ticket. We hope it encourages you to examine the system's depth and instructional impact.